Good morning, America. Consumer alert this morning. More than five million people, the estimates are, will go parasailing this year. It can be a terrific vacation adventure, you know, soaring high above the ocean. But it's an adventure that can end in disaster and sometimes even death. Critics say that's because some operators are literally throwing caution to the wind. A report on that from our consumer correspondent, Greg Hunter. It's supposed to be an exciting ride in the sky. Is it all the way down? All right, all the way down? Okay. And as I recently saw for myself, parasailing can be smooth sailing. I got to tell you, this is fun, but it's kind of scary. And the fun can end quickly when things go wrong. A near-death experience for three friends in Florida. A father and daughter forced to bail out in the ocean. And a Michigan woman nearly blown away in the Bahamas. You may wonder, are these simply freak accidents, or is there a problem? There's a dark side to parasailing that uh, the normal customer doesn't understand. Expert Mark McCullough says no one is watching over the industry, and too many operators are unsafe. Money and greed plays a very, very big role. I see it as a dangerous industry waiting for more people to die. Lanita Walker's 26-year-old daughter, Tasha, and a friend were up in a parasail in bad weather in the Bahamas in 1999. The rope broke. And he said she started screaming hysterically that, uh, we're going to die, Mike, we're going to die. The runaway parasail dragged Tasha and her friend through the water. And Tasha could not see the waves coming, and he kept calling to her, and she answered a couple of times, and then she didn't answer anymore. Tasha is buried in Charlotte, North they Carolina. Had a piece of I can't find anybody to take responsibility for this. You know, I can't find anybody to say, well, we're going to fix this. Yeah, the Bahamas and most other countries uh, outside the U.S. are bad, but it's just as bad here in the U.S. The Coast Guard knows of 76 parasailing accidents in the U.S. between 1995 and 99, with 61 injuries. But McCullough believes the actual toll is far higher because so many accidents go unreported. While the Coast Guard licenses commercial boats and operators, it says it has no direct authority to regulate parasailing. So if the Coast Guard isn't keeping an eye on things, who is? Nobody inspects their lines. Nobody gives them a test to see if they know what they're doing. Nothing. Nobody inspects their equipment. Nothing. Nothing. Have fun, guys. Three friends on vacation parasailing in Clearwater, Florida. Watch the tow rope, their lifeline. The men were blown over these condos, but amazingly landed without serious injury. But they still want the operator of Parasail City to pay. They hired Mark McCullough to investigate. He says Parasail City ignored a dark sky and dangerous wind. Listen to a worker on the boat just before the men took their turn in the air. Guys, we ain't gonna be able to give you a free fall today. We got too much wind out here. We visited Parasail City with a home video camera to see what they say about the dangers of parasailing. And remember, this is the same company that lost those three men when their line broke. No, there's been, hasn't been injuries in years. Hasn't been injuries in years? Yeah. Nobody's ever had any mishaps, right? It's way back when, Mexico, you know, there's been a few problems when they right. first started doing it. But I've been here for five years, and there hasn't been one problem that I've heard of. It's too rough for starters. They shouldn't have been out there at all. Mark you McCullough really? went out on a Parasail City boat and also asked about their safety record. How's the safety record? Pretty good? 100%. 100%? No, I've never had any accidents. That's pretty damn good for 100,000 rides a year. And when we were out on the water, Parasail City flew a customer directly over our heads. Dangerous. Dangerous. It falls on top of us. That was it. That was not even, that was not a smart move. When I went parasailing with a different operator, we did something most vacationers can't do. We had Mark McCullough evaluate the equipment and weather conditions before we flew. If you could take your own safety expert parasailing, you could have the same adrenaline rush with a lot less risk. People like Lenita Walker say the, the risks will remain until parasailing is held to a higher standard. My daughter's life is gone. I know she would want me to fix this. I know she would want me to fix this so somebody else's child doesn't have to lose their life.
that guy who was operating the parasailing boat, not the boat I was on, but the boat that flew the parasail right over our boat, according to the harbor master, was fired. And that's really dangerous. Not only can the parachute land on you, but the line can come right across the boat. It can hang the parachutist up or the parasail up. It could decapitate somebody. That's why that is so dangerous. My ride was pretty good. Now, uh, there's a couple of things you need to do if you're going to go out parasailing to be safe. Number one, do uh, get a safety briefing. Make sure that people sit down and talk to you about what to do if something goes wrong. What do you do if the line breaks? You know, how do you stay safe in the water? How do you get the parachute off you? The second thing is don't go up in high winds because that's really...